All right, here's how to fillet a fish. So I've got my bag of fish. I've got a bag here for trash. And we're gonna find a decent size one here. All right, this is how I fillet a fish. I put the head, since I'm right-handed, I got my knife in my right hand. I got my fish head towards the left side. So the top of the fish is facing away from me. Bottom of the fish, the guts of it is facing towards me, head to the left. I pull up that little fin on the side, and then I'm gonna cut right along the back and around its gill here. Now these are somewhat frozen. So they, I like them a little bit frozen because they help cook, they help flay a little bit easier. So all I'm doing is cutting straight down. Then I'm gonna turn my knife and we're gonna go through the gut and up through, you'll feel the rib cage will be about into here. So I'm gonna push through and staying on the side of the fish that the fins are on. So just staying on that side as a guide. Pushing through to where I feel the rib cage, and now I'm through the rib cage, and now I'm all the way through the fish. Okay, so that's the fish looking like that. Then I'm going to pull, turn my knife so it's kind of at an angle, and it'll guide down that back, like I guess their backbone, all the way through to their fin. So now that's all cut. See? Okay. And this is all cut, where all the guts are. Now I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to cut along the edge of where, let's see, pull, try to pull their fins out, they're frozen, so it's hard. Going to cut like this, but I'm going to cut it this way, from that. And I'm only going to put it, the knife in just enough to where I feel the bone. So I'm going nice and easy, nice and slow. And then once I feel that I'm through with the bones, to, through its rib cage, I'm just going to make a cut, nice little cut. And I'm going to peel that back. I'm trying to do this easy for you. I'm going to peel that back. And then slowly run my knife over the bone. Okay. So just little slice cuts. If you have a sharp knife, it goes nice and easy. And now see, now the rib cage is exposed. Now, you just, you if they're frozen like they are, you can just pull and it all comes out. That's one side. Then I usually grab a knife and just kind of get it about a nice 45-ish degree angle. And now I got the skin and filet. Throw the skin in there and I got a little bowl for the fish. Now flip the side over, head again on the left hand side, but the fins are up towards the top. So the top of the fish is towards me. Make that same cut again, and then make those cuts along the back. See, I'm making the cut along the back, just those short little cuts where I can feel the rib cage. Now I don't feel the rib cage anymore, so I slide it all the way through. Nice angle down towards it, get through there. Then I flip the fish back over and I come through and all I'm gonna do is cut where the belly is. And once that's free, now I'm set. I'll turn the fish back towards me again, where the top of the fish and the head's on the left. Pull the head back and then just make those little cuts again around the rib cage. And if you want, you can tear. If you feel a little bit of bone because I didn't get it all the way, just kind of flay it out of there. All right, now, just 45 degree angle, boom, done, fish is done. And that's it. There's one other way that I can show you how to clean these sunfish that I've learned. And that's just going straight down. Now this works a little bit better if you had, if the fish weren't frozen. Because now you're just kind of bucking through with your knife here. So 
So all I did was cut down and across. So now I've got the rib cage in here. See, I got the rib cage in some guts. Now I got to get underneath it. And I just got to follow the ribs down. All right. And the ribs are out. And now just flay it. I like the other way better because I have one less step to do. I've already got the, I basically just come out with the skin and the filet. So again, going through the bottom side, boom. I know it's hard to see with the, maybe I should put the phone over this way. All right, so now, boom, now I'm through. Peel that back, and then just slowly make your cut along that rib line. Like I said, if it's pretty frozen fish, you can kind of just peel them back and you won't really ruin the filet at all. So now I just got my fork down here just to kind of hold the fish. If they're frozen or semi-frozen, your hands get a little cold, so it's nice to take a break off that fish. All right, one more time, but the day different angle. Peel this fin up, peel that little side fin up, cutting along the back of the head, up through the gut, not going all the way through, just kind of hitting that, I'm hitting that rib cage in there and I can feel it, so I'm just only backing off. Now I don't feel that rib cage anymore, so now I can go all the way up through. See, I'm up all the way through, 45 degree angle, Towards the tail comes off. Now, just staying on this side of the back fin there, and peeling back the fillet. Fork it up. And there you go. Now the back side, peel that fin up cut it. Now the top of the fish is towards me. I like the I like the head to be on my left hand side because I'm right handed so I'm using the knife in the right hand and I got something to hold on to. That's why I always have the fish head on the left. And then just kind of poking through all the way down through the belly. That went a little under. All right. There we go. I'm just finishing up the belly cut. Now just pull back and get around. Now you could do all your bass this way. You could do all your sunnies, crappies. Um, what else? Perch. Northerns are a completely different thing because they got the Y bone in there, so you gotta. That'll be a different lesson another day. But that's it. That's a couple of fish, a couple of minutes. Uh, if you wanna see a different angle, let me know if that didn't work.